and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Poppy. We're sticking with Garen. Yesterday we played two really good Garen decks, at least had some really good records with Garen. And so we're going to try Garen with the most popular champion, Poppy, uh, right now. Because Poppy does is Demacia. You know, we always see Poppy with Bandle City. Why does Bandle City say Yordles? That's... That's weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, Poppy is dual region and is Demacia as well. So uh, we can play Poppy in Demacia decks. And with Demacia decks, we get a lot of these challengers that love to see Poppy. You know, you, you have your Fleet Feather Tracker, your Laurent Protégé, uh, those kind of cards. We also have some other support for those challengers. The Young Witch, Bright Steel Protector. Penitent Squire creates that Tattered Banner. They can grant Challenger. And so we can grant Challenger to Poppy or to Garen. That could be pretty nice. We don't have lots and lots of elites, but there are there are some elites in here. And so we're not, you know, like Penitent Squires could be a Scythria for us a good amount of time. We're not always going to be creating Tattered Banner. It's just it has that upside that it could create Tattered Banner. A uh, three Radiant Guardian to go along with the Garens because of all the aggressive decks running around these days. So lots of aggro running around. So there's R Radiant Guardians in here along with Garen. Also has Swiftwing Flight, another challenger that also creates more challengers in hand and can grant some plus one plus ones around. And then we're going to be rallying to finish it out. We got Golden golden Ages with the rally. Uh, we're splashing Ionia for the Young Witch for the support, but then also for Spirit's Refuge uh, for some more lifesteal. So we get a good amount of lifesteal in here. So you can see this is like an anti-aggro mid-range deck because it like controls the board against smaller attackers um, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll go play our five games in ranked with Garen Puppy. Okay, Poppy Ziggs. And just what we thought. We'd be playing. I like the Radiant Guardian for this matchup, but we kind of we need like a lower curve though, right? We need to be able to get uh, in play earlier. I'm gonna just send it all back. I think a more, you know, I want a one, two, three curve. Gross. All right, so we didn't have a one or a two mana unit to begin with, so I sent them all back, and we still don't have a one or a two mana unit. All right, there we go. There we go. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. Yeah, you're all about the Empire. I ran we get it. As fast as I could. I have urgent news. I could like block the two three and Ranger Resolve to keep it alive, and then like try to attack, try to have them block the two. You know, they block with that again, and then we get to draw a unit. That seems like a lot of work. I don't know, maybe that's not that much work, but we'll just keep Rangers Resolve. From all the regions we are one. Your path ends here. No poppy over there, please. Play something else. Alright, not poppy. At least not yet. All right, not Poppy. What wondrous At least not yet. Await below. Deep breath now. You sit. I don't know. I think we'll wait on Ranger's resolve. For justice, for Demacia. Whoa, pass. That mean that probably means Nocturne Fervor, right? Persistence is key. I don't think that means Nocturne Fervor. No. They just wanted to play something post combat and not have me challenge it with Garen. I guess. No one's the wiser. Flock. I don't always see Flock in this version. Usually they have like the fervors and more burn spells. Stay resolute. 
Ooh, that's a great card. I'm going to be pretty sad if we lose this. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this game. But, yeah, maybe they have more flocks or something. This, uh, this is looking very good for us. Yeah, kind of none of those. I think I'll just keep, like, Golden Ages available and stuff. Save Poppy? In golden ages next round but we also have garen like yeah like we good we good we good Quest complete. On to the next one. that seems like a great matchup for us of course they didn't have a champion we had champions so maybe if that's the other way around it's not as good all right more aggro so that's what we have our deck designed we have our deck our deck is a poppy deck that's designed to defeat other poppy decks. Do I send Sharpsight back also? Sharpsight's such a good card. I don't know. We we really needed like our champions and stuff though, right? So maybe I should be sending the Sharpsight back. Because like Sharpsight, while while being such a great card, isn't necessarily that great with just these these cards right here. I guess we trade. Looking for this. Mm, I guess we trade. Yes. Perfect. Great draw. I don't really want like twin disciplines plus three plus zero and like that kind of mess. Okay, they had sharp sight. Might also go in sharp sight. I think so. Yeah. I don't think they play single combat. Like I, d I don't think we have to worry too much about single combat here. You know, fighting Garen. Cool. All right. Well, I'm very happy with that. That we got. That's really good for us. That we got both. Both of those cards out of their hand for like the price of one of our cards. And then we also got a free kill on their young witch. So, like we got rid of three cards for the price of one for us. You cannot 
Stone judgment. Ready, Hammer? Honor, guide me. If they don't have another two mana spell, they're in a lot of trouble. But even if they do, like, yeah. Like, it has to be specifically twin disciplines to, like, plus three, plus zero, but it's just not that likely, right? But they don't. Like, we're just annihilating everything that they have. So, Challenger Garen is just, like, giving Braum plus five, plus one. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. All right, we'll keep the two champs. <clears throat> Send those other cards back. Viego, Ash could be, you know, Viego could be pretty tough. I could see us losing to Viego and just Shadow Isle's removal. I think this, you know, this isn't really exactly what we're built for. You know, we're built for the, the poppy decks and the aggressive, the aggressive decks and like all these, like the bilge water decks that are doing one damage, that kind of stuff. Yeah, 5 mana, 5-5 five, five, Braum. It's kind of like 5 mana plus a spell mana. Moving. You can see the Nebastian border from here. block here because of Vile Feast. Make way. No, we block here. Fight the signal fires. Maybe it's just a bad trade overall. I I like getting rid of like their blockers, right? And like not letting because I don't want them to block Poppy, right? Like I don't want that 2-1. Even if Poppy turns into a 5-4, I don't want to get blocked by that 2-1. <clears throat> now Okay, so we're gonna make this a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hopefully that works, hopefully no frostbite. Ugh, gross. Place a unit on top of the enemy deck. Go away, Viego. I don't want you around here. No more. I don't want you around here. No more, no more, no more, no more. Go away, Viego. Don't want you around here. No more. All right, Poppy's at two out of three. Garen's now at one out of two. Go away, Viego. We don't want you around here no more. No more Remember no more. to roll. I do this for her. For her. Of course, it kills the Vanguard, but we're keeping the Swiftwing Flight alive. Trade. 
I mean, we don't have to block. It's about attacking for lethal next round. It's just, it's a cool trade. It's a good trade, but I really shouldn't make it because we're going to be attacking for lethal this next round. With both Garen and Poppy. So they have to have an answer for both of them, which is possible with Frostbite stuff. They didn't answer for one, but not the other. All right, three no. Quest complete. On to the next one. Yeah, yeah, Garen is the meta answer. Oh no, not Draven Scion. Let's let's play more Poppy decks. I want to see Ziggs Poppy some more. Okay, that's gone. Mm, that's gone. What about you? You're gone. Kordak, you're back. Yeah, we're starting off 3 0. Garen meta answer confirmed. But we got a tough one here. Draven Scion, always tough. We're going to need our champions. Come on, champion. Still going to need champions. Gross. Probably won't go too well if we don't find a champion. Well, really? Well, alright. Alright. I suppose so. Yeah, alright. We could also just pass here and not... Not doing any challenging. Man, that's a that's a hand. Killing all my stuff before my raiding guardian can come down. Luck, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Really. So 10 mana, we're we looking at Golden Ages, Swift Wing Flight, Bright Steel Protector. Got your back. They can challenge Poppy and use like a burn spell, and they can you know kill Poppy with a combination of burn spell plus challenger. This is not really a Rangers Resolve matchup with how much, you know, like they just have so much power and I have so little health. Oh, These like Rangers Resolves just aren't looking so good right now. But maybe if we can attack with Poppy and Swift Wing Flight. Hopefully they stop stunning stuff. Uh, 
All right, you can go first. And then y'all, then y'all. Okay. So Poppy's gonna be a 5-2 tough. Okay, we can't really save Poppy so much. But these are all 3-2 toughs and then a 4-3 tough. So 3-2 toughs are going to eat... Eat that. Eat that, that. 3-2. And this is a 4-3, so 4-3 will eat that. Uh, I guess we'll go with that. Oh, 4-3! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I could have grabbed the 3-1. 4-3. Three, three. Why was I thinking 3-2 tough? 4-3 tough. These are all four threes. Oh, I could have grabbed the three one. I, I was thinking those are three twos. I sacrificed two units for free. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Kordak. I guess I don't... Yeah, I, I guess I'm making mistakes for in chat. I don't... Yeah, so I shouldn't have challenged the four attack ones, you're saying? So yeah, just challenge the three. Yeah, because there were four threes, and I should have just ate this three one, ate this three four. Let the four threes just block other stuff. Yeah, because it says, like, these are three twos, but they're not going to actually be three twos, right? They're four threes. And so, like, one of these things is, doesn't doesn't show up. Like, these should be these are going to be four threes, and so that's why I got thrown off, because they're not... They're, it shows three twos, but they should be three four threes. So I got I got messed up last time because of that. Okay. So I don't want to kill you. We'll just send you over there. All right, what is this thing going to be? The, all right, so these are all going to be three health. So three health with top ball. Okay. So that's why I got thrown off because it only, well, the the eye was only showing one of the plus ones, and so I got thrown off. Wait, you only have two health? Oh, because it doesn't give itself. Sorry, that was kind of behind my camera. I think we should still be fine, right? Alright, what's the smallest challenge are you? Alright, like we should still be fine. So we needed to, to find a champion, we did find a champion. We found Poppy. And there we go, we are four and oh. Alright, so I I could have done better. That was those were difficult challenges. I could have done better. But. You can only win, you know, you can't do better than winning, and we won. So we'll take it. Alright, we got <clears throat> got a burn deck. This would be a good matchup for Radiant Guardians, but that's down the line. Let's try to curve out. Ooh. Lots of ones. Protege, why aren't you an elite? Hmm. I would rather play the Squire, because they play a lot of one one mana deal one cards. So I don't actually really like the Feather Tracker in this matchup because of that. But I'm I'm holding out on the Squire, seeing if we can find an Elite. You know, like if we draw Garen. We of course want okay, there's an Elite. We of course want Garen, we want uh, Poppy. Like make it rain's a thing. Twist of Fate, red card's a thing. Yeah, 
Young Witch is a thing. That was a mistake by them. I should have waited to see which one I... I was only going <coughs> to attack with one of these. They could have just waited and I do that, then they could have killed. That was a big mistake by them. Could definitely be red card. This would have been a great matchup for us to have the Rangers resolves in. Ooh, good. Not re not red card. That's good. That's good. Let's get it, crew. I like not red card. Uh-oh. Alright, so we have to open attack. I can't let them... I can't let them just red... You know. I would like to play Tracker and Protege. But they could have red card and just wipe out everything. So I guess we have to open attack. So in that case, all right, we'll give you, no, wait, uh, all right, yeah, so this, this attack doesn't show up. Give other challenging allies plus one, plus one this round. All right, so it's going to be a three, two, so we're going to make, if they're going to use a removal, I'd rather them use it on the tracker than on the flight. Um. You can just go in there like that. And... Oh, okay, so it's only a plus one, plus one this round. Why don't we go like... Alright. Go... Alright. Final answer. Wait, why do you get a plus one, plus one? Oh, because you're challenging the powder keg. <laughs> right. I rarely forget and never forgive. So I will respect you, Captain. Break their spirits and their swords. Why not pull keg with witch? Because I didn't I didn't really want to attack with the squire. Gosh, they do have keg red card. Man, that is just not fair. Keg red card. All right, so obviously I'm playing the Radiant Guardian this round, but Sharp Sight saves something. Probably want to save this Silver Wing Flight. Yeah, I think we could probably save that over Young Witch. That's what I was trying to decide, like which one of those two we want to save. We give Radiant Guardian Challenger. So the Radiant Guardian will get buffed up by Silverwing Flight, so it'll be a 5-6, so it can challenge Gangplank. But then again, if I would have had Young Witch, maybe maybe saving Young Witch was better, actually. Right, are we just open attacking? No, I could play Bright Soul Protector first. Alright. They already did Nexus damage to me this round, and it gets rid of another Gangplank. I'm very happy about that. Okay. You can challenge... Alright, so you're challenging that thing. You can challenge this. You can challenge... What, that? I don't know if like killing Twisted Fate's actually a good thing, because then they get to play a new Twisted Fate. Yeah, probably should have kept Young Witch available. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Cool. Nice to meet you. We're Radiant Guardian. Yeah, and they... That was not a good use of that Gangplank, I don't think. Yes, Poppy! Let's go. Alright! That's gonna be a 5-0. Thank you, Radiant Guardian. Garen, too strong. Garen is the answer to the metagame. 
Yesterday we went 4-1 with Garen Sejuani, 5-0 with Garen LeBlanc, and now 5-0 with Garen Poppy. I think this is probably the strongest of the three Garen decks as well, uh, just having Poppy. But so Swift Wing Flight, man, this card really overperformed. Giving our other challenging allies plus one, plus one is awesome, uh, especially paired with the Poppy. And then just creating the thing that, like having it create Silver Wing Vanguard and we just get so many more challengers, that was awesome. You know, you could think of like, like Vanguard Bannerman could be here. But I liked this card more of like, just get more of these Vanguard, you know, like how it creates the card for you. That was awesome. Uh, so yeah, this deck felt really, really good. So there's Garen Poppy. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Give this deck a try. Try out all the all those Garen decks. Let me know how they're going for you. Hopefully, you, you're if you're somebody who likes playing Garen, you know this is a great time to be playing Garen, as we're seeing with all these different decks. So let me know how it's going for you, um, and which one's your favorite. I, I like I said, I felt like this one was the strongest, but you know maybe you like one of the others. They all kind of do something a little bit different, and they were all very good, as you can tell, going 14 and one with Garen. That's crazy good. All right, uh, but that's going to be it for Garen Poppy. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.